Hello, this is Vidas. And I'm Osha. Recently, um, uh, I've done a, a, an organ demonstration for a bunch of kids. And uh, a question that I was thinking about was, should I let these uh, school children play my organ or not? So, what do you think? Well, I think it depends on what kind of kids you have. No, if these are just you know kindergarten kids, I mm -hmm. would probably not let them to play organ. But if we are you know um, elementary school kids or you know older kids, then it would be probably be okay. And of course, it depends on you know how valuable your organ is too, mm -hmm. and how kids behave behave during demonstration. Because if you have like uh, hyperactive kids and you will allow them to try your organ, <laughs> there might be you know big damage to the instrument. Right, right, right. So would it help if uh, I say to them some ground rules? What what they could touch, how they touch, uh, with what force? You know these things. Well, for some kids, yes, but 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 not for all of them. You know how the kids are. What do you think yourself? I I remember. Yes, I did uh, let uh, them play, but but I had to be on constant alert. You know, to to to, to f focus on each and every uh, child who was playing and touching with feet and hand, uh, so that they would not hurt the instrument. You know. Sure. But I think it's important to to at least to uh, help them experience uh, physically the instrument, right? I think in such a case would be probably a good thing to do demonstration for like, you know, smaller, tiny groups of the kids. Mm -hmm. B because if you have uh, less of them, you know, you can control them better. Right. It's easier for you. Right. And usually during these demonstrations we have some adults, uh, like teachers, right, uh, or parents even joining them, and they can help the organist too. I I, I think to control control some of the uh, more more uh, uh, basically agitated kids. Actually, yes. Today, for example, on the public radio, Lufin and public radio, we heard such a. No, 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 you know. Um, uh, yes, broadcast, an broadcast, interview. Broadcast, yes, no, no broadcast. And it's told about kids who afterward lived in the downtown of uh, Vilnius. And he, with other kids, would go into the one church, which was locked at the time. We would climb to the organ balcony and we would uh, pick up the pipes and would throw them from the balcony downstairs. And he was telling it as a fun thing, and you know, journalists she even didn't react to that, and I was you know just outraged. I think I will write to the national radio and ex express my opinion about it. Yeah, uh, of course that that uh, that kid was a very small child. Now he is like in late seventies or even eighties, probably uh, a very senior person, but. But uh, at that time he didn't understand what he was doing, that he was damage, damaging historical material. But now probably he could could have uh, understood that, right? Sure. So I I think you know this example shows how you must be careful with kids on the organ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. Right, because sometimes they want to touch and blow the pipes also, and to touching uh, metal pipes with your hands is is. Uh, dangerous for the metal or because of rusting because of rusting and because it's a soft metal it's, mm -hmm. it's not like hard metal you you should wear gloves at all times it's not steel mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so you have to be careful not to flatten them but probably our point before we began the discussion was that it's it's really fun to experience physically the organ right you be, you only have to be aware of of children's um, you know basically uh, character traits right and and be be right next to them while they play right in so for example you could tell uh, sure you could play but only with one voice in each hand right so you would not play with 10 fingers uh, right away right and with both feet but only one finger makes one one sound at each 
uh, together, you know, like two voice uh, harmony, two voice uh, playing is okay on the organ, That's right? a good idea, mm -hmm. I think. And then over the earlier we will experience organ, you know, try organ, uh, you know, uh, when you have more chances of them becoming professionals one day. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, uh, go ahead and uh, contact your local uh, uh, school teachers uh, around you and uh, especially music teachers. Uh, they know a bunch of kids, right, and get in contact uh, uh, with them and uh, offer a short uh, half an hour or one hour demonstration where you could present the, the technical interesting things about the organ, play some pieces uh, uh, and also what uh, demonstrate some stops. And at the end of that, they will have a chance to touch, literally touch and play the organ themselves. Yes, that's so, a great idea. Thanks so much for watching uh, and apply those tips in your uh, organ activities. Thank you and bye-bye.